Mm, so the main challenge, I think, it is this question of how do we observe, how do these people ha do that do have some income generating activities uh, are, be are observed are, uh, and we are able to capture their, their, <laughs> their activity and observe what, what their income is in order to, for them to, to contribute as well. So I think that that's where the, um, the challenge comes into uh, how we generate channels in which they can contribute to their own pension system or uh, you can set up a pension system that uh, targets this population. So there are two issues. One is, um, and actually that's what we observe in Chile and in, in other countries as well, some of the people now are more visible because the, of the new technology. So now you can observe because of the more use of uh, mobile phones or more use of electronic payments, now you can observe much more of their activity. So that's how a new, new, there, there are new points of contact with this uh, informal population that you can use in order for them to uh, participate. And they, they can use that as a, as a part of uh, fomenting their, 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 their own savings. But on the other hand, there are still people who are poor and who do not have the ability to save or it's already too late. It's, uh, they are over 50, over 60, they are already in old age and you don't have enough time to build a, a pool of assets for them to, to rely on in retirement. So for that, uh, part of the population, there's this other policy that ha we have observed in the region, in Latin America, especially since the, two, since the 2000s, which is the provision of social pensions, non-contributory pensions that can provide a, for, a, or that can serve to uh, prevent uh, poverty in, in old age. So I think there are these two issues that are complementary. On one hand, non-contributory pensions, and on the other hand, m more extension of contributory, contributory pensions to, through new channels. I, I think this book is a, is a good opportunity because it will uh, collect a lot of information from different countries and from different experiences uh, that they can create a, a really rich uh, knowledge uh, base. So you can find uh, examples from Latin America, from Asia, from Africa, and those uh, all these countries uh, face challenges in terms of um, including more, more, more people in their pension uh, systems and they have maybe taken similar steps or maybe you will find different examples and yeah, depending on the situation and depending on the starting point of your own country you can find a, a good example of what or a good idea of what could help and could you could try in, 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 in other countries to to improve uh, to improve um, coverage of, of pensions so I think it's a, it's a good effort to put together all this knowledge uh, systematized information and try to bring uh, examples that could be useful for policymakers in other countries as well